It's day, I don't know what, of our adventure here in Koh Phangan, and we've just dropped off Malin Lien for half an orientation day. They'll be here until for about four hours almost, at which time we'll come pick him up and then we'll go play somewhere. But, uh, well, first we gotta go get the water. It's a very strange experience to be riding without Mali and Liam, but since they're away, uh, we figured we will drive around a little bit and see if we can scope out some uh, accommodations, long term rental. Accommodations. There's plenty of places, just gotta find the right one. Resort, not a house. It's like a yoga place or something. But it's still being under under construction. And here is a road, but with nothing in it. <laughs> Completely undeveloped. Wow. Apparently, you've stumbled upon some meditation place or place of meditation. I have no idea. But it looks like a resort. But we've been the visitors are politely asked to be quiet and not drive up the hill with vehicles. I guess this is like a meditation resort where people come to chill out and regain their senses. No men passed here. Oh, women's only. Interesting. Mm. Take stick, watch out for dogs. Yeah. Take a stick. Huh. Hello. Hello. We just stumbled upon your place. Is it okay if we okay. check yeah. it out? You just uh, try to find out something to cover. It's not around. Oh, okay. Yeah, ah, okay, okay. The box there. This, uh, yes. the box you can take from. Something okay. to wrap around. <laughs> All right, thank Japanese? you. Japanese? Korea. Korea. Oh, Korea. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but we have man. You cannot pay them. Okay. <laughs> okay. You want to grab something? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, maybe something. Actually, it's okay. Oh, that's a shirt. Is that sarong? There you go. Is that a sarong? No. That's a, not a sarong. <laughs> Here's a 
No, that's a dress. I thought, I thought it was yeah, we're just it's looking because they're all dresses. <laughs> you like a sarong thingy, right? Shirt. <laughs> Mm -hmm. okay. They're all shirts, that's oh, why. Yes. Yeah, this this one will do. Nothing that can draw. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Whatever it is that draw. Oh, at the moment. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, woman. <laughs> that's okay. Mm. Thank you. 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 Yeah. It's too simple, it's time. So. So. so here's the dress code. Lights down. Shoulder under the shoulder, waist and hips. No see through, no legging. Please cover until cover your knee. Okay. I think we're covered. Jigyong. Jigyong got a sarong to cover her knees up. And we're allowed to go in and have a look a little bit at this place. Very quiet, tranquil. Hmm? It's real nature. Real nature. Oh. No oh. bikes, no car. No bars, no Those noisy walks. people. Yeah. There's a bunch of viewpoints. You could go up there. There's some bungalows. Is this bungalow? Yeah. People staying here. I would assume so. You can probably rent these to... Really? Well, yeah, I would imagine. There's a restaurant here and everything, but I would imagine that it's like not very family friendly. Mm. It's supposed to avoid children, because it's supposed to be quiet. Kids mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. always follow that rule. Mm -hmm. So I assume this is just for people like to come here, meditate, and... Mm. Yeah, you gotta be childless this and single. Richard, yeah, right. Richard will be happy in here, right? Richard would love this place. <laughs> kind of Buddhisty surrounding. It's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Two viewpoint. Which way is it? Two viewpoint. This way, okay. Let's follow the lower roads to the viewpoint. Elephants and monkeys praying to Vishnu, is it, or is it a Buddha? I don't know. Yeah, Jigon keeps saying how strange it feels to not have Mali and Liam here. Please take off your shoes. Okie dokie. Okay. Shoes are off. Shoes are off. Shoes are off. Ooh. Sunlight, I love this. Holy moly! Oh. Well, before wow. we get to the view, that's very nice. Wow. That looks like it's been here for a while. Look at this view. It's amazing. Is it? I have no idea what this is. Wow. This place certainly has a nice view. Picked a good spot for building this little sanctuary, this little getaway. I don't know, where are we here? Can we orient ourselves? Orientate? Is this Tongsala? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. It's made by just, just the That's the main truck. road over there, yeah? Yes. Ah, okay. So we can see the sunset here later too. So that's the main road that goes to downtown, I guess. 
And that's the city center over there with all its mayhem and smoke and pollution. <laughs> so that confirms that it's a there is a seven day option for a meditation retreat uh two seven nine eleven all together so two orientation seven days meditation yeah i don't know Two days orientation uh, initially on booking in, I guess. Uh, registration, one day orientation, and there's a seven day uh, meditation retreat. And then there are two final days of, I guess, getting back to reality, maybe after a seven day cleansing retreat. Seems like a very cool thing to do. Something I would definitely go for. I would go for it. I would totally do it. I think it would be very interesting, very cool experience to just do nothing but meditate and, and uh, I don't know, binge on air and clean water for seven days. We're heading down this path. This house is going to be full of bugs. This house is going to be full of bugs because it's right in the middle of the jungle. Oh look, it's good. Is it? It's a huge house. It is a pretty big house. Watch out for the coconuts. Oh? Watch out for the coconuts. Ah, uh, good question. Let's follow these stairs and find out. Oh, there's a path this way, and there's this house. Gorgeous. I like this house. You like this house? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, let's follow this path here and see where this goes. There's an own derby. There is no access to the beach. The beach is far away. Look how far it is. Well, there's another house here. I don't know. Maybe this is the house that's for rent. That's most interesting. Yeah, it's locked. Oh. Neato. It's very limited space though for children. For children I think maybe this wouldn't do necessarily. But to have these two properties here rented? Not bad. Yeah, beyond this balcony there is just heart. <laughs> This is nice. Look at this Definitely a place I would consider staying at for longer terms. But without children, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Wow. Ants. Red ants. They bite. Places like this are probably usually meant for older generations, such as ourselves or so people who want to get away from society so to speak the younger generation who come here they like to visit places like Hadrin that's the the birthplace of the full moon parties the legendary full moon parties here on the island so for the full moon parties people go to Hadrin which is on the other side of the island or they stay in hostels or other happening places with swimming pools. I don't think too many young people would want to come and stay at bungalows like this that are secluded and tucked away and without access to the immediate amenities of restaurants and <laughs> coffee shops and all that <laughs> stuff that the younger generation prefers.
Once upon a time, many years ago, uh, we used to stay in this resort here, somewhere around here, that was run by these two girls, two sisters. But things have changed so much since that time that we no longer are able to find it. I don't know if that resort has been sold or maybe not, but we have no idea where it is and what it even looks like now. So we were just wandering around and we found this resort, which looks pretty cool. The bungalows are nice and rustic. They look uh, very low maintenance, which is nice. And it's got a very cozy kind of feel to it, this place. But we're not sure if this is the place. Probably not. So we keep on moving. <laughs> 